can I let you in this house, Eileen Riley Siegel, the way you've neglected us? Oh, Katie, I'm really sorry. I've been meaning to come over for months. Well, you know where the road that is paved with good intentions leads to. Yeah, you sound just like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's understandable. She was my best friend. Sit down now. I'm, I want to hear all about David. Oh, he's wonderful as usual. Mm -hmm. He's down in the valley tonight, you know, seeing a client about his will. Oh, so that's what brought you across the river. Oh, well, that's how I got the free ride. But I really came over here to see you and mm -hmm. your family. Oh, I'm sorry, Eileen. There's nobody here at the moment but Tara. Really? I thought I heard... This is Siegel, dear. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, Tara, you're just as pretty as ever. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, how are Julie and Tim? Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Listen, you'll all have to get together sometime, you know, with them. You still going with that Brent boy? Well, don't he... get her started on that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am, thank you. She probably thought it was he at the door. Well, I should have known better. He, he's uh, staying with his father. And I have this book report to finish, so if you will excuse me, I'll... <laughs> oh, listen, would you tell Julie I'll give her a call. Maybe we could go to the movies on Saturday. Wonderful. Okay, bye. Nice bye, to honey. You. Kate, she's the picture of her mother. Isn't she? And she's just as sweet. Helen's been gone now for what? It's over two years, isn't it? Two years in October. <laughs> Do you think Joe is glad that he came back to the valley? Well, he's happy in his work at the hospital, but he's not on the verge of remarrying, if that's what you mean. <sighs> he's such a wonderful man. Not to mention how handsome he is. Well, and he's just the kind who should be married. And I've told him so. I'm sure you have. I've already picked out the girl. Yeah? Who? Ann Tyler. Of course. There she is working in New York, trying to become a career woman, which isn't what she wants at all. No, well, she had that uh, very unhappy marriage some time ago, you know. But she's the very kind who could appreciate Joseph. Well, how is it going? Well, he takes her out now and again, and, uh, of course, she and Tara get along like a house of fire, but, you know, I don't see that spark in his eye when he looks at her yet. Oh, now, Kate, honey, you have to give things like that a little time, you know. I, I mean, know. Joe was so much in love with Helen. Well, you just can't push things like that. But, Eileen, you can't live with the past, either. So I keep hoping, you know. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Oh, speak of the angel. Eileen Siegel, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, Joe, how nice how to you? see you. Dave was over here on business, so I just couldn't, well, I just couldn't resist coming and paying a visit to the oh, Martin. Good, <laughs> good. I'm glad you did. I thought I was going to miss you. Hey, listen, you work this late every night? No, no. What happened was it was a bad accident on the turnpike. Yes, I know. Dave and I heard about it on the radio. Oh, you must be exhausted and oh. frozen. See. What do you say? I get to, to make some hot chocolate for all of us, huh? Well, it sounds very good, Kate. Hey, Katie, can I come and help you? Oh, no, no. You just stay right here and visit with Joseph. <laughs> Joe, were there many casualties? Yes, there were three DOAs and about five more who were in pretty critical condition. All of them were pretty young, too, weren't they? Three of them were teenagers. Every time I... I think about our twins going out on that expressway at night. I, well, I tell you, I'm just a wreck till they get home. Yes, Ruth and I were talking about the same thing this afternoon. Ruth? Ruth Brent. She's a nurse at Valley. You know Ruth Brent, don't you? Oh, of course I do. As a matter of fact, I was just talking about her son to your daughter. Yeah. Hey, from what Katie tells me, uh, Tara and Ruth's son are very interested in each other. <laughs> yes, yes, they make quite a twosome. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Think you're going to lose her soon, Joe? <laughs> well, someday, inevitably. Yeah, what Dave is always telling me, too, about our two, you know? <sighs> oh, listen, Joe. Dave and I just love to get together with you sometime, you know, with you and, and, and someone. Uh, you know, have you over to the house for, for dinner some evening? Yeah, yeah. That'd be very nice. I'm, um, Sure, there's a, someone you know that you'd like to bring. Oh, you mean you mean a date? Yeah, uh, uh, maybe you'd like to bring Ann Tyler. Yes, yes, that would be very nice. She's a lovely person, Joe. Who? Ann. Well, that's whom we were talking about, isn't it? Yes, yes, of course, yes. Yeah, Ann's a very charming girl. 
Well, it's hardly a girl anymore, Joe. <laughs> no, I suppose not. Uh, Eileen, you, uh... You've known Ruth Brent for a long time, haven't you? Oh, sure. Ruth and Amy Parker and I grew up at the same time. Of course, we lived in different sections of the city, but we used to run into each other at, oh, big uh, sporting events and school, citywide school things, things like that. Of course, I haven't seen them in years, but I've kept up with Amy through the society page. Mm. You know, she married into the Tyler family and all. Mm. You remember my wife, Helen, don't you? Of course I do, Joe. Matter of fact, Kate and I were just talking about her. Well, Tara said something a couple of weeks ago that she reminded her a great deal of Helen. That's true, don't you think? Uh, uh, Amy Tyler reminded... No, 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 Ruth, Ruth Brent. Oh. I mean, they have uh, the same warmth and friendliness, don't you think? Well, I, uh, I... I don't know, Joe. I really hadn't given it much thought. No, no, of course you haven't. Well, it's, it's, it's really not important. I think I'll go out and I'll help Kate with that tray of hot chocolate. And I'll be right back. You? You mean you told Philip that he could go and visit Tara? Well, Ted's asleep and he'll be back in an hour. You don't really mind, do you? No. I suppose not, really. I, I, re I wanted a chance to talk to you anyway. Oh. If you only knew how upset Philip was when I arrived here this evening. What happened? Well, apparently Erica Kane stopped by. Furious that Philip and... and uh, Tara. Tara had made up. Well, you know, everybody knows that she's been trying to come between them. It's everybody but your husband, who accused Philip of... Well, you can imagine. Amy, I really don't know what else to do. I tried to tell Philip that his father just hasn't recognized the fact that he's growing up. You know, it's funny. Joe Martin was saying just that tonight. He said that it's a phase that he thinks that will pass. You talked to Joe about Phil and Ted? But, I mean, he is Tara's father. Yes. Well, even if it is a phase, by the time it's over, I'm afraid Philip's life may be ruined. Mm -hmm. 